Hello YouTube, I am out here today with one of the highest quality camping hatchets you can possibly get. This is my Helco camping hatchet. Helco is a German company, all right, this is made in Germany. And uh, you know, talk about German technical precision. Uh, this epitomizes it. It is a uh, carbon steel, it's C45. And as you can see, this comes with a mirror, a mirror finish. Now the purpose of that, aside from looking very, very good, is that it reduces friction and it helps it resist corrosion. The handle of the Helco is sourced from Swiss ash. Now ash is a great wood for a hatchet or hawk handle. Right? It has a lanyard hole there. Now these handles are individually selected for both uh, density and grain structure to make ideal handles. Now this part here, I added this. This has paracord underneath it and gamma grip wrapping the paracord. I just added this for overstrike protection because as I was, I was testing this, you know, I messed up a few times and I did an overstrike. So just as padding, there's some paracord under there. It also provides a good grip if I want to choke up and do different types of cuts. This Helco hatchet represents uh, an incredible value. The, the price is very, very reasonable. Oh, did I mention this has a convexed edge? There's no bevel, okay? It's got a convexed edge in the grind. The grind goes right to uh, the hammer strike surface on the back. Now, if you're into cutlery, you know that a convexed edge like that, it's like what you get on a lot of custom knives. It's the ideal, um, ideal strength, and when it's done right, uh, ideal sharpness. And a bit of a different angle, just so you can see the construction here, the way that this hatchet head is seated, uh, they have a wooden spacer and then that metal ring. And those are basically um, fitted with extreme pressure right into the handle uh, to split the handle to make that hatchet head uh, seated incredibly firmly. Okay, there's, there's no wobble whatsoever. That is the best way to seat a hatchet head. Also from this angle, you can see the geometry. Obviously, it is more broad than on a machete or a knife. That aids in strength, of course, but it also aids in splitting. When you hit something with this, um, you know, a piece of wood, it's almost going to explode and fly apart because of that geometry. Now, I've already tested this, and I actually uh, repolished it as well. That's another thing about that mirror finish. It's very easy to repolish it and make it look practically brand new. Um, all right, let's roll in that testing footage. Uh, what I did was I split some pieces of firewood that I had, did a little durability testing against the pallet, um, and it split like a dream. All right, we're back. I hope you enjoyed that footage. I have a size comparison here for you. All right, the Helco is in the middle. 
to the right is a Fiskars, Fiskars uh, hatchet from Finland. And to the left, that's actually a, a Kenitsune. It's a Japanese woodworking hatchet made of white steel. I have not reviewed that yet, but I will. Uh, I've already made a video on that Fiskars, but I haven't posted it yet, so stay tuned for those reviews. All right, but you see the size comparison here. These are all fairly small hatchets. Uh, this Helco is the smallest in its particular line. They have like four or five others in the same line, okay? So if you want to split larger pieces of wood, just buy the next size up. All right, now obviously this is a much higher quality tool. Uh, than that uh, less expensive Fiskars next to it, but around the same size, much better edge. The convex edge on the Helco, it, it's just, um, for me, it's the ideal edge, right? That uh, The Japanese hatchet, it's a very impressive to be made of white steel, and it has a high hardness, but that Japanese hatchet is actually well more than twice the price of the Helco. So the Helco definitely beats it out in terms of price, and also the Helco gives you more edge lengths to work with. You know, that Japanese hatchet, it's just more specialized, but stay tuned for that review. This thing is just very high quality. The price on the website was $50. You know, remember, prices are subject to change. It gives you a lot of value. I mean, it's, it's, it's head and shoulders above, you know, I know you could get like a cheaper hatchet at Harbor Freight or something. You can get like a $20 China hatchet, but I mean, for 30 more dollars, you get something that's like literally like in a class far above um, the cheapo hatchet. So more than worth it. I mean, the German craftsmanship, you know, second to none. You're going to pack. Basically, you could pass this down to your kids so they could sell this for twice as much. I mean, I've seen um, uh, other high quality axes that uh, are way more expensive. So. Yeah, I'm happy I got it. Hope you enjoyed seeing it. This has been We All Juggle Knives, and I'm out.